Do you think it's weird that at 49 years old, one of my testicles is just a little bit bigger than, <laughs> than the other two? <laughs> Last, uh, about three weeks ago, I did a run that was uh, living in Atlanta, and uh, uh, I did The Tonight Show on Wednesday night, and then I did Billings on Thursday, and my manager sold, sold it to me on sort of a, it's a good routing, you know, part of that Atlanta, L.A. Billings run that encompasses the entire United States. And, and uh, on Friday night, I was in Anchorage, Alaska, which is real handy, and, uh, and someplace you really want to see in February <laughs> if, you get a, if you get a chance. And uh, then on Saturday night, I'm in Fairbanks, Alaska, and my manager's prediction that there wouldn't be a lot of snow in Fairbanks in February was off by about seven and a half frickin' feet. <laughs> The most boring town I've ever been to in my life. Sorry if you're from there. It is a bore hole. And I was stranded there for three days. Count them, one tick. Talk. Tick. Stranded there with the Eskimo people. Not a great looking group of folks. <laughs> and I mentioned that on stage and they got pissed off. And I didn't see why they got so mad. I didn't insinuate that they had no character. I mentioned that they weren't attractive. I thought they knew. <laughs> Apparently I let some big cat out of the bag. <laughs> Have you seen their teeth? They could make keys. <laughs> you don't have to be in Fairbanks very long before you figure out what that nose rubbing deal is all about. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> anyway, I got this scathing letter from the head Eskimo, Frosty, or whatever his name was. And, uh, <laughs> Halfway through the letter, he said he would have me know that the Inuit tribe is one of the purest races on the planet. And I'm like, that's kind of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nobody will have sex with these people. <laughs> and then later in the letter, it said there are less Inuits every year, which I guess means it's getting to where uh, they won't even have sex with each other. <laughs> Somebody suggested that I uh, watch a movie on the way to uh, Alaska, and I did, and it was called The uh, Grizzly Man. And uh, you can go rent this film or buy it. It's worth the watch. It's, uh, it's very entertaining. Uh, this guy, a ne'er-do-well, out-of-work actor, uh, tries to reinvent himself as a filmmaker, and he moves into grizzly country in Alaska and shoots this amazing footage, which was later compiled by Werner Herzog and made it to this movie. And, uh, but it, like halfway through the movie, he snaps and believes he has become at one with the grizzly bears. And, and not only do grizzly bears, he says in this film, have the capacity for intellect, they have the capacity for sympathy, and then one of them eats him. <laughs> Funniest film I've ever seen in my life. I laughed till I thought I was gonna throw up. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> and I just thought it would be funny if at any point in this guy's life, his father, like my father, ever said, you're never going to be shit. <laughs> well, you're wrong, Papa. <laughs> Tomorrow morning when this bear pushes me through his bowels, I'm going to become a steaming pile of bear shit. <laughs> I hope you're proud, Daddy. You have no idea what I've been through to make your dreams come true. I had to be digested. Do you know what that's like, Daddy? I suppose you don't.